So, what's up everyone? Thanks again for tuning in on the Wheeler Detailers YouTube channel. And today I'm filming with Colin. Can you join me here? Hello everybody. So, Colin has been uh, the familiar face for everybody that shops here on a Saturday. And he's with us for a long time. And Colin is super, super handy and technical. And in this video, we're gonna install the hexagon lights here. Because the previous video, we had some comments on that and we actually thought it was a really good idea to show you all the steps of installing a hexagon, hexagrid or honeycomb LED lighting to your ceiling. So, step one, the unboxing part. The hexagon lighting come in a large box and they have this instruction manual with it. Please read it before installing it or before using it. It shows you very, very important steps. The next step is determine and check thoroughly where you want to install the hexagon light. In this case, we have a concrete ceiling over here and a concrete ceiling over here needs a little bit of a different approach than when you have like a garage or a unit. With a, with a steel surface or a drywall ceiling what he says <laughs> and very important in this case as well with concrete ceilings as well when there is uh, uh, heating in the floor yes you cannot drill too far no yeah that's right very important tip to uh, to notice before installing so once you determined how you can install how you can uh, uh, or how you can mount the hexagon lightning to your ceiling do you also want to have it hanging? And it can also be done by separate waves. With this ceiling, we are going to use a drill to drill in the ceiling. Um, but you can also use uh, these connectors. They have holes inside. So you, if you have a wooden ceiling, you can drill it right into the ceiling. Okay. And in our case, we use these hooks and uh, we hang them with the tie wraps. As you see it uh, by this connector, ah. you could just hang it. Easy as that. If you also would like to have it done, let's say, very nicely and chic, you could maybe also check out these uh, steel cables with these uh, stainless connectors. Yes. That looks really, really nice. <laughs> I'm very happy Colin is here today. <laughs> For more than one reason. So it's also very important before you start the installment is check out what kind of electricity access that you have here. The Decon Hexagon, hexagrid, honeycomb lighting is laid out to work with 230 volts one phase electricity system. It's very important to have all the cables and the whole setup for the electricity done before you install it. So, Colin is now starting the unboxing process. Inside the box, we have, uh, of course, a cable for the connection for the electricity. Cool. The wire is already stripped, so you can immediately install it. That's very nice. Perfect. We have three types of connectors. We have a 90 degree connector, a T connector. Oh, yeah. We have a 180 degree connector yeah. for the straight lines. And we have the triple connector for the hexagon shape. Ah, looking good. So we're now going to lay it down here on the floor and already make it a hexagon type of shape. So what I will have here? show you these connectors, you can just plug them in and they will immediately click and that's it. Is it a solid uh, connection? Yes, it's a solid connection. If you want to unhook it, release this hook and you can pull it out. Perfect. So the box is empty, everything is lying here on the floor in front of us. Now we're gonna lay out all the framework already into a hexagon kind of shape and then we're gonna connect it all together to one solid assembly. So very good to know is that the large parts are for the outer lining, completely the framework on the outside and the short parts are intended to make the hexagon shape. So 
So please note that every element, every light tube is partly alloy, partly plastic and the plastic is the LED lightning that needs to tend downwards to the floor if you want the lightning coming from top down. So now the inner frame. How do we start with that? Uh, the straight lines we click it together with a 180 degree connector. Okay. In the corners we use the 90 degree connectors. So the outer linings we're gonna fit with these 180 connectors and with the corner connectors, the 90 connectors. Yes. So we're gonna extend these. So, in the corner, I will pick a cord. We click this side, two sides on the lightning, and you can use this connector, just simply click it in. So, let's move, move on with the hexagon lightning inside. Is there anything we can explain to the viewers about that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. So you got a short, a short element there. Yes. We start with the connector for the outside of the... Which angle is that? 45. 45 degree angle, yeah. And then you more or less build it up. Yes. Into shape. Connect three short pieces together and then you get a triple connector and you click them together and then you start building up the hexagons.
Quite some work already has been done. The whole outer frame is being built. The whole inner hexagon lighting has been built. Now it's time to connect it all together and to determine that we have to drill a hole into the ceiling, put a plug in there and put a hook in there. And that's what we're gonna do on several points. I think in this case 13 or 15 points. And then uh, we will uh, mount it all together and hang it. So Colin, what's up now? Uh, now we're going to drill the hole for the... Oh, sorry. <laughs> no problem. So we can hang out the lighting. Cool. How many millimeters of drill do you use? It's an eight millimeter drill. Yeah. Because I already also have eight millimeter plugs. Oh. Hang this up with you. Colin, what are you doing up there? I'm going to install the first hook. Colin came down to earth. <laughs> so how many hooks do we need to install for this uh, whole setup? We use 15 hooks. Oh. On each connector I use uh, one cable to hang it up. Oh. So Colin is done with drilling. Here we see the hooks all on the ceiling. All plugged in. Three lines of five hooks per line. Left, center and right. So, what's up now? Install the cable ties. Put the outside and the inside together with some cable ties. So I picked the connector and I used the hole. I put the cable tie through and then just pull it together. And it's... That's it. So here's the dream team, Colin, Tyne and Chris. So Colin, what's up next? We're gonna pick the light up. Yeah. First we're going to hang up the, the back of the lighting and then we're gonna flip it upside and hang the other side. Okay. Easy as that.
so and this one goes in here okay and now we have to go to the service room I'm going to connect the wires inside the electricity box ah. So, it's all connected, let's test it. Moment of truth. Bring it on. Wow. Can you also put a dim function? Yes, sure. Yep. This is the brightest function. So this is 100, 70, 40, zero, and back to 100 again. So uh, yeah, please share your opinions by writing it here below under this video on YouTube. Um, there was some demand on yeah, how to install, how to build it, how to set it up. So we hope this video was very guideful and helpful for you. If you got some ideas, please let us know in fortcarca24.eu. Chat with us over the live chat function or the WhatsApp function on the website. Um, I'll come by and say hi. Colin, thanks very much. Wish yeah, thank you a great you. King's Day. Yeah, you thank can it. leave now. <laughs> But um, yeah, couldn't do it uh, without you. So uh, yes, yeah. please like this video. And while you're here, also hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. So every time we do an upload, you get notified ASAP. That's it for today. See you guys and girls in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.